fascinating history about Eleanor of Aquitaine. Hello and welcome! Before we get started, I kindly ask you to please subscribe, like, and share this channel, as well as your favorite videos. Thank you so much! She had many titles. Eleanor of Aquitaine was a French noblewoman in medieval times. A rarity for this period, she held the title, in her own right, of Duchess of Aquitaine, a very large and extremely wealthy independent region of old France. She was a crowned queen on two separate occasions, the first as Queen of France, as the wife of the French king Louis VII and the second time as Queen of England when she became the wife of King Henry II. During Eleanor's lifetime, she was quite possibly the most powerful woman in Europe. She was also the mother of three English kings, Henry the Young, Richard the Lionheart, and John I. Eleanor was described by many as an incredibly beautiful woman. She was also keenly intelligent during her time as queen, knowing how to handle medieval politics with expert consideration. Eleanor helped art and literature to flourish in her courts. She commanded fierce respect and was an inspiration for many women. Queen of France Eleanor was the eldest daughter of William X, Duke of Aquitaine, and when he died, Eleanor became the Duchess of Aquitaine at 15 years of age. The region of Aquitaine was an incredibly vast territory, even bigger than the regions governed by the King of France. At that time, Eleanor was the most desirable woman in all of Europe. When Eleanor's father died, he set out for the King of France, Louis VI, to become her guardian and to find her a suitable husband. He chose his own son, the future King Louis VII, to marry Eleanor, and thus she became the Queen of France. Aquitaine technically remained independent, though it was now under the banner of the French crown. The marriage was not exactly a perfect match, and from the beginning, Eleanor and Louis had a tense relationship. Eleanor was very high-spirited and determined, whereas Louis was of quiet manner and for a long time growing up, thought he was destined to be part of the church. A lot of their problems were also political, as Eleanor and Louis supported different causes of the French nobility and the issues they had in their provinces. Eleanor was strong-willed in both mind and action, and her position as queen had to be respected. She was very social and lively, and this did not sit well with the nobles of the French court, especially her mother-in-law, Adelaide of Maurienne, who thought her a horrible influence. The French church leaders were also not on board with Eleanor's affable demeanor, calling her behavior unbecoming. Eleanor also accompanied her husband on the Second Crusade, as she insisted on doing this as the leader of Aquitaine. The crusade was a major disaster as King Louis was an ineffectual leader without proper military or tactical skills. This considerable defeat only heightened their estranged relationship and already having two daughters and no son to be heir, King Louis VII arranged for their marriage to be annulled by the church. Eleanor's territories in Aquitaine were fully restored to her after the annulment of her marriage to King Louis VII of France. She was now, once again, the most desirable woman in Europe due to her lands and riches. This position opened a dangerous door for her to be kidnapped, as in those times, whoever kidnapped a noble woman could marry her and then lay claims to her lands. In the year 1152, Geoffrey, Count of Nantes, tried to do just that and abduct Eleanor. She, however, smartly sought the aid of Geoffrey's brother, Henry, Duke of Normandy, who would eventually become King Henry II of England. Eleanor and Henry married in a simple ceremony, without the pageantry normally attached to royal royal marriages. Eleanor was now Queen of England, uniting her lands with that of the English king, who already had sizable territories in the Frankish region. Their combined holdings were eight times bigger than the territories held by the King of France. Eleanor and Henry's relationship began to deteriorate as the king had many infidelities, his most famous mistress being Rosamond Clifford, who legend has it would hide in a maze built by the king. Eleanor forced her to choose between between two options for her death, a dagger or poison. Eleanor and the king's relationship was so strained that she left to go back to her lands in Aquitaine. During this time, her son, Henry the Young, launched a revolt against his own father, King Henry II, and Eleanor allegedly
repeatedly encouraged two of her other sons to join the young Henry in this rebellion. Eleanor was traveling to meet her three sons when the armies of King Henry II arrested her and held her in captivity. She was under house arrest for a long time until King Henry II died and the new English king, her son, Richard the Lionheart, freed her. Eleanor outlived her two husbands and almost all of her children. She lived until the ripe age of 82 and spent the last years of her life as a nun in a convent. Eleanor is remembered for her beauty, modesty, elegance, and intelligence. What about you? Do you know any other interesting facts about Eleanor of Aquitaine? Write them in the comments below. And as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.